Travellers to the Pool is a video film examining the social history of Liverpool by tracing the cultural origins of young people from the Dingle Girls Project and the heritage of their families. We will explore the extraordinary multicultural heritage of people in this maritime city. Let's meet some of the Dingle and Toxteth girls involved in the project. The lava birds watch us play oh. as we run about day to day. We're families to love and hate. This could only be my base. Becky, a talented singer. My name is Rebecca Fleming and I'm 13. My name is Rebecca Fleming. I go to Shawfield Com and it's all right, yeah. I like singing. I like listening to music. And <laughs> what has it been like growing up in Liverpool? It's alright, but there's lots of things you've got to watch for in a big city like Liverpool. You've got to watch your back. Why do you say that? Because you have, because like, you just, you walk on that middle street next minute, your head's on the floor. <laughs> Myself, I like to consider myself as black English. My mum's white and my dad's, my dad's black. No. My mum was born in Liverpool and her parents are white, but my dad was born in Trinidad and the Caribbean. My mum's always lived here, but my dad originally went to London and um, worked his way up, going from job to job. He's, an, he's by trade an engineer, went from job to job and ends up in Liverpool. Anything you want to say about growing up in a multicultural society like Liverpool? It's the best, because if you grow up in like all one or all the other, you're just going to be narrow-minded. But living in a like multicultural, you get to know the best of every world. That's all what I've got to say. Jams. So what are going to do the first to Laura, having a quick look. My name is Laura Crockett and I'm 13 years old. I guess the show feels comprehensive and yeah, I just like it. I am English and my mum is part African and my dad is Irish. Part. You know, when did your mum come to Liverpool, do you know? Um, she's, a, she's always lived in Liverpool, it's just that she's part African because <coughs> her dad was African. Okay. Do you know anything about her dad, the granddad or? Um, he died before she was born, so she didn't really know. My mum got put in a home when she was seven, um, and she got split up from her five sisters and two brothers. And when she was a bit younger, one of her, aunt one of her aunties told her that her brother was living in the pool. Has she ever met him or...? Yeah, they're close, they're, they're close now. Janaya doing her Kojak impersonation. My name is Janaya Naomi Melissa, a rising filmmaker. My name is Melissa Weeks and I'm 17 years old. What's your nationality? I'm black British. Well, my mum's from... Better get, you better get this right. My mum's from St Kitts. My mum is from St Kitts, but she was born... No, she was born in St Kitts and brought up in Munster Or it might be just a bit around, I'm not sure. So where's that? It's in like the West Indies. And my dad's from Barbados. But like, my dad come here when he was 20. He told me that today, actually. When he was 20, and my mum come here when she was about 12, something like that. My 
think my mother especially has taught me a lot of things like respect because people who have not been funny but people who were born in England haven't got like if the mum and dad have been brought up yet they haven't got no respect for no one just for even saying things and I feel like I'll go and say that but I think it's true for the way my mum's brought me up and she's just always taught me to respect you know like everybody not even your elders even little kids you've got to have a certain amount of respect for, for the child you know what I mean and so English brown people haven't got that don't put that in Michelle okay Michaela, a TLC wannabe. My name's Michaela Joanne Patterson, and I'm 13 years old. I'm going to show you as comprehensive. Yes, correct. My nationality is British. My granddad is from Africa. My mum was born in Crystal Palace. My dad's from Jamaica. My granddad. Used to wear on like in a ship that I and he got married to to um, me nan and then you know me mum was born in Crystal Palace and they changed the people. Hey, my name is Pamela Hardison. Um, I'm 50 years of age next February and I've lived in Liverpool all my life. You gave it every way the name Hardison comes from. And I don't actually think that the name Harrison was my dad's name because my dad was an African man from Liberia. From what I know, he was a crew man. He had the dark mark in his head, which was his cast. Um, I don't remember too much about him because he went back to Africa when I was six. Um, too painful of memories to think back to them times, Gail, to be honest. I don't really know enough because at the age of 10, me mum's mum died and then me granddad went back to Africa and my mum was busted so she doesn't really speak much about it. My mother was from London, my mother was a London girl, she wasn't a Liverpool girl. My mother came from Crystal Palace, from what I know. She came down to Liverpool, met me dad, had us. I was born in this street that I'm actually sitting in now, but at the other end. Before all them new houses were, were here, this street used to run right way right down to Granby Street, and we used to live on the other side, next door to the Knowles. Carol Darby lived a bit further down. There was Dawn Stevens lived further down from us there. Maureen Ogan across the way. You understand me? She so started to make me way back to Liverpool Ace. I moved to Smith Down Road first. Then I moved down to the Dingle, then I moved back up to the Avenue, then I moved up to uh, Grove Street, then from Grove Street, where did I go from Grove Street now? To Devonshire Road, then from Devonshire Road to Cordor Street, then from Cordor Street to here. <laughs> and here you are, saying you haven't travelled. <laughs> and it seems like most of your travelling you've done. <laughs> That's nice. Come back to me roots. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Being multicultural, and I think it's how you, um, how you portray yourself. Really, I've never really found um, much racism myself. That's because I don't really um, consider myself as anything but English. So I, I can't feel any different to any other English person. They're just English to me, whether they're white or they're black or they're Chinese. If you're born here, you're English to me. There's no two ways about it. I'd be proud of that fact. <laughs> so I look at it, I'm an English rose. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Gail, English roses come in different colours. For real. That's the way I look at us. So we must always be proud of our homeland, whether it's here or it's Jamaica or it's Africa. Be 
proud of where you come from. You should stay positive and be happy with what environment there is because people in the field where don't get a choice, so just be happy with what you've got. We should be a community now where we have so much respect from our children. You know, we, we, we should have so much um, togetherness. And yet there isn't that to togetherness that there once was. I grew up with that togetherness. God, I don't like the Liverpool of today, to be honest with you, girl. Because the Liverpool of today isn't as vibrant, it isn't as alive. There isn't that, um, like people say, the Scouse humour. The scouts togetherness, yeah, we are as one. It's not like that now, girl. It's very um, fragmented, very, very fragmented. And years ago, now in the 1970s, when we were all coming into our 20s and all that, and hippie, the hippie movement was around, and black power was about. You know, what I mean, that's what we were all striving for to find our identities, man, to be, you know, to be known that way, we are a close community. We're not fragmented like we were in slave days, you know? Many of us are lost along the wayside, the same now, man. And I just hope that my children will never be lost. But they've had a strong mentor in me. Harry, a filmmaker wannabe. My name is Caroline Faker and I'm 13 years old. I go to Sheffield and it's okay. I'm English. My mum is English. My dad is English but he's got half Arab in him. I don't know my granddad's name because all I know is that he was my granddad's favorite because he's got this big long Arab name and I can't even pronounce it. My dad can't even pronounce it and it says dad. My mum can't pronounce it though. Um, my, she, he got married to my nan, well my nan. They, they had one son called Brian, then they had triplets, my dad, Norman, and it is the sister, but the sister died at birth. My grand, my mum's dad was a blacksmith. Um, he was just got married to me nan. They had nine kids. Carol, Mary, Pat, my mum, Les, Jimmy, Joey, Teddy, and someone else. <laughs> <laughs> and someone else. Beryl. My name is Ronnie Faker. Please all say I'll call a place that I've got a bush week behind. I'm a cashier in Shawfield School on the tills, as my daughter says. Shut up! <laughs> I have two children in the school, one's just recently left. <laughs> the maiden name was Brooks, B R O O K S, which, as I've been informed, is supposedly an old English name, I thought it was Irish. Um, the Atherton name of the family belonged to my mother. Apparently they're Irish. Because being twins, the names mm. Alan's dad was a merchant seaman, uh, which his name is Howarth Ali Zayda Tone Casa Mali Faker. Or Fakir. His dad was a merchant seaman. Um, Apparently his dad was, he owned seven farms back in Yemen, um, but he's got family out there also, um, he's, got, he's got brothers and husband that he's never even met, and as far as we know, there was, at the top of Washington Street on St James Road, there was um, a mosque first mosque in Liverpool. It's called the Azalea. As I say, years and years ago, as far as we know about the family, is that they used to actually own the site that Lewis has built on, the Brooks's, that is. So it's um, a slave trade in history, that? It's part of the slave trade. Okay. Um, 
as I say, I have read a few books on it. I'd like to do um, a genealogy thing. Books is Alley. Yeah, Books is Alley, off Hanover Street. Uh, my dad was brought up in the old Chinese quarter of Park Lane. So we've been multicultural, sort of thing. My dad and my uncle are old. This is my mum, and this is my sister Beryl. That's Al Wilf that lived facing. As you can see, they're all Victorian houses. The Kemp's used to live on the corner. Um, the playground is at the back of there. The cathedral, as you can see, is still in the stages of being built. My name is Elmer. Elmer Wilf. Elmer Wilf. Elmer Wilf. Shirell, unaware of a technical hitch. I go to Shawfield and I like it. And then, and then my great granddad was from Malaysia, so, and my nan was half Malaysian. Then my mum, she's half Somali, and then, and then my dad said. He's Jamaican and um, his mum and dad was Jamaican. He's Jamaican and um, he was born here, yeah, but his mum and dad came over from like, Jamaica on the Windrush, I think. And, um, and then my great granddad said he came from Indonesia um, and he was on the ships, and then that's how he met me um, great now. Shall I bring you a little blend? You can help yourself. I'm not really holding on. Are you not? Because I've got like all different nationalities in me, I eat like all different types of food and I listen to like all different types of music and that. But that's it really. Well, on my dad's side, his mum and his dad, I think, came over on the Windrush. And um, on my mum's side, um, my we, we we great granddad was from Indonesia and he like worked on the ship from like when he was 18 I think and that's and that's it really what is your name? Sherry Mill our family name is actually Ali bin Sally Madali but as my granddad is Indonesian and he couldn't write it down in English, the captain gave him his family name, which was Mill, because they were good friends. Um, my granddad was actually Malayan, born in Indonesia. Um, my nan is half Irish, half Scottish. Um, my father was Somali. And that's where I get my African background from. Um, my mum's family is very big actually. My nan had 19 children. And we've got all nations in our family from African, Nigerian, Sudanese, um, Portuguese, everything. We've just got all nations in our family, which is really good because, especially where the food's concerned, because we can try all different things. <laughs> Um, it was my grandfather. My grandfather come over from um, Kalalumpa, which is a very, very small village in the mountain. And he started going away to sea when he was about 14, give a false age in, and started going away to sea and working because his family was big and he needed the money. Then he met me nan, he was 15 at the time. And it's me nan. Obviously, has a lot more problems. Oh, yeah, the children know all about how the granddad went to meet the grandmother and all about um, everybody else that's married into the family, all their cultures and all the different ways and everything. Because I think if they know everything, it's not that they're going to grow up any better for it, but it's knowledge that it's nice to have. Like, Kashika doing amateur dramatics. Uh, she helped Carly Brown around 13. Well, 
I don't come level feel. You won't come from level feel. I mean, that comes from a bad side. That so we won't from um, level feel. Black. Black. African. Afro Caribbean. Afro Caribbean. <laughs> she is. Okay. My name's Brenda Suku. I'm a support worker. I work in the shared accommodations with old people and they make me laugh. <laughs> I came from Africa. I now came from Wales. Yeah. Um, no. One of them in our family is all white. I make that family is all black. My dad's from Sierra Leone. My dad's been dead for five years now. He was 95 when he died. My mum's from, my mum's Welsh. And she's been in this country, I think, about 40 years now. I know my dad was a seaman. He worked on the ship. And two of my mum, mum had eight boys and me, but at the end of the day, when my mum finally had a daughter, my dad packed up a sea because that's what he wants in the daughter, and that's me. So she knows all about my dad's roots because she's read, you know, he's wrote a little um, a book to tell him how we come to come to this country and things like that. So what was the book called? It's a, like a little, well, a writing book, mm -hmm. what he wrote about how we come to come to this country and how the, the slavery and all that. Because my dad was 95 when he died. That was only five years ago. Oh, God. Right, I'm Adele Brown. I'm 22. And this is my little girl, Sadiqa Baidi, that you do Brown. British. My nan's white. She's Welsh. And my granddad's African. He's from Sierra Leone. Well, he said he was from Sierra Leone, but he was born in Liberia. In 1900, on the 6th of April, um, he was one of 13 children. I think my granddad was the ninth born, and his African name was Shea, but everyone called him Charles. And uh, my nan was born in Cardiff. And my dad's mum and dad, my grandma on my dad's side was black British, and his dad was an American GI, which we, he's never known anything about him. Um, and my nan's family were from in West Africa as well, in possible, around Sierra Leone and Ghana, my nan's family come from. Mm -hmm. Dad came to Liverpool and all I knew that he was a seaman. And um, he came to Liverpool in 1933, when he was 33 years of age. And he was a fireman in the war. Like, this picture is of my grandfather's mum, one of his brothers, and his brother's wife, and his nephew and his niece. Um, at this time, I think he was about 15. He was born 1945, and I don't know his name. And she must be the same age or a bit older than my mum, which my mum's 40 next month. And uh, this is my great grandmother, her name was Baidi, and this is who my Sadiqa's named after Sadiqa Baidi. Because Baidi's also my mum's African name, which she didn't know that she had until my granddad died, and I told her. Mm -hmm. Because um, my granddad was the only one who told me the Africa, his children's African names. I, like, I forgot all of them, but I remembered my mum's. Um, like I said, my granddad came here in 1933. And the first place he came to in, in the United Kingdom was Wales, Cardiff. Mm -hmm. So he always said he was a Cardiff man, he was Welsh. <laughs> and it was a coincidence because he met my nan, which my nan was from Wales, but he met her in Liverpool. It's, it's positive having different cultures in your family. But growing up, because my granddad respected my nan so much, I always said I would go with the African man, which I did. But, you know, I've, like Sadiqa's dad, he was born in Liberia, and, you know, I've always been with Afri gone with African men. Because I always, you know, want my daughter to know so much about the culture, and I'm trying to learn about my heritage as well.
county and that's of your parents and family members. I'm English. <laughs> 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 Go to Montserrat, it'd be well better than come out. Like living in Liverpool, well better. You just don't know what to Family is my dad is Jamaican and my mum is from 